Electric cars offer a fantastic opportunity to monitor your vehicle in ways you couldn't before. Even though the cars have had computers for an awfully long time, now they've got an actual ability to interface with them. Uh, I'm going to have a quick chat with the folks from Serenity about that. I'm Brian. Welcome to Future Aza. Trinity, what is it? Uh, Trinity is basically an app that connects with any uh, electric car. Um, and as you maybe know, uh, electric cars are constantly connected uh, to the internet, sending data, uh, data stream. And what we do is we interpret this uh, data stream and derive charges, trips, battery health, and all the data that you know makes your life easier in the electric mobility space uh, tr to transform into the space, but also then while you go, um, maybe optimize, understand electric mobility better. So we have with that with the, uh, with the app. So some of these are things that your, that a car will tell you already. Why are these better? Uh, so what the car probably tells you, and this is uh, like true for every manufacturer, Every manufacturer sees, okay, what charges are done, you know, in their like bubble or in their space. What we do is we can show all the charges that have been done, whether it is in the company or at home or uh, somewhere, you know, public. Third party, yeah, third party. at work. Yes, exactly. So what we do, we have all the charges because we know the truth from the car, right? We are also independent of the charging hardware and, and what else. Same goes with the trips. At least in Germany or in Europe, it's kind of a big thing uh, around taxes, you know, how you use the car. But also for yourself, when you do a larger trips, it might be interesting, you know, to check the trips and see where did they go, how much, you know, did it cost, how much CO2 is in it, you know, from the, like, how much carbon footprint is in, in, into uh, the trips that I did. Uh, so you yeah. can monitor the carbon generally or from that specific part of the grid? Uh, we can monitor like the CO2 for the charges. So as we look locate the charge, uh, the charging session, we know the CO2 footprint at this location, that particular location. And as we then have the sum, uh, the summary of all the CO2, we can then also, you know, allocate this to the trip so that you have an exact idea how much CO2 uh, uh, was transmitted in this um, in the strip. Also, by the way, compared to the ICE car. Okay, so anybody who drives any amount of miles can see how much juice they're using, but this would allow you to see not a, an idea of the carbon, but a very, very solid yes. understand, estimate. So you also on here, it says battery health. Is that yeah. a thing? Mm -hmm. How does it monitor battery health? So there are different discussions around what battery health uh, actually is. Uh, what we have is, um, as we have all the charges and the trips, we can have a calculated idea of, about the degradation of the, of the battery. Uh -huh. This is one thing. The other thing is, as we also record the charging, um, the charging curve, we can have an idea about you know, different charging curves. We can, you know, have the template charging curve and also then see uh, uh, the, uh, you know, differences uh, while you use it. Not only that, we can also compare your particular car with other cars in this virtual fleet. So we have many, couple of thousands uh, users, not only in Europe, but also across the world. We are represented in 54 uh, countries, uh, meanwhile. So there's a huge opportunity for you to also since you have this data, to understand the data better and how you can understand it when you compare it with others. When you see the exact Model 3 version of my, you know, neighbor or, or some, somebody in the world or like a couple of Model 3, I can compare. It's my charging curve, the average uh, that the others have. What is the maximum charging speed that I can reach? Uh, and so, many more, right? Yeah. So if I feel like I'm not, my, like I'm not charging right, is it this location? Is it, is it, you're able to look behind the, at other cars exactly like mine, same year, same configuration, can see, yes. and see, no, this is normal, or no, it's, it's a little slower, because you can see not just how much I charge, but the actual speed over the course of the charge. Yes. That's deep data. I like that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean, besides of what we are talking about, uh, of course, we can also provide like, different displays, 
we can, you know, provide the example of a charging curve, how this looks like. It's kind of uh, nice. I mean, for Tesla, for example, we are able to fetch the data very precise. We can have an exact charging curve. We can have the same, like uh, energy consumption for trips and so on. And so it's a huge uh, opportunity uh, with this data. What does this app cost? So it goes, uh, it starts with uh, three euros or three dollars uh, per month per vehicle. Uh, if you want to make use for more, you know, professionalized uh, features, it can go up to seven, seven euros per month. And what a bargain because three euros is more than three dollars. So if you're in the US, <laughs> you're already saving money. Yeah. Yeah. So that's interesting. And it just pulls the data itself, manages it itself, has all kinds of stats. Uh, what kind of stats would we expect to see? So this is uh, this is like how how I operate and also a lot of our users do. What they are asking for is how am I doing in this current month, right? Yes. And this is kind of good uh, representation of the current uh, months. So um, yeah, as you see, how much energy was used, what is my total cost in terms of charging? I can also add, you know, there is a digital notebook, for example. I can also add other documents. Uh, I can add invoices and so on. So that's kind of also a trend to bring it more into, you know, the perspective of company use cars as well. So we just launched like a company sure. sleep dashboard. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is something that interests me uh, a lot of also ACDC ratio, which is kind of an indicator how you behave with uh, the battery. Um, but then since we are already, uh, you know, in the area of the insights, what we also have, I mean, this is a, <laughs> this is obviously, you know, the Tesla, this is a BMW. Sure. Uh, but imagine this is, you know, the exact, as we are also speaking of digital twin, this is the exact representation of data that was created with this car, right? Imagine you are at some point reselling this car or you are interested in this particular car. How would you know how this car was treated? How much, how, how much, uh, you know, energy can it consume? Uh, what is the, the calculated reach uh, after, you know, the, the usage? How was it uh, charged? Um, by the way, what is the max speed of charging that the, car, that the car can reach? All that information is kind of um, a good indication for you or, you know, uh, maybe improves the buying, buying uh, decision for you as somebody who, I, who is interested in, uh, in uh, buying a used car. Also talking about the CO2 footprint again. So you see what, what I saved compared with an ICE car, for example, but also how much uh, CO2 I was, um, you know, uh, using uh, yeah. during the charges. And this is also, you know, for the company, it's interesting to summarize this across the fleet, right? So if you're running a fleet, this is great because not only can you keep track of the things we just said, but you can use the digital glove box to put in your tires, your uh, paint repair, I mean, anything, yeah. right? And that stays with the digital twin of the car. And if you're a spreadsheet nerd, a graph nerd, and my audience is, I'm just gonna say that's what we are, then we've got, uh, then you don't have to do it manually anymore, and it'll provide additional insights that you didn't, that, you, that I might not have thought of. So that would be a pretty valuable use case, I think. Anything I'm forgetting to ask about Tronity? And by the way, Tronity is on iOS, Android. Yes. yes. There's also a web version for it, which goes nicely with the portable or the, the mobile browser as well. Okay. And of course, we cannot rephrase this again and again. No hardware is needed to do this, right? No hardware. No hardware. It goes for electric cars, also hybrids. But I mean, we are all hoping for, you know, the, the, the EV cars, uh, EV only cars. But yeah, again, own. No hardware modification is needed. Uh, it can be, it's being set up in two minutes, uh, basically. Two minutes set up. Because that's the other thing is, I love some of the toys. Uh, and I've had companies reach out to me and say, hey, you should try our toy. And then I look at the, the actual use, to, what it takes to get it going in the car. And I say, that's not for me. Uh, so this is something that can add value. And if you've got a fleet and you want to brag about how green it is, you've got the actual data instead of just estimating, which I think is pretty fantastic. Well, thanks for sharing with us what Tronity is and does. Uh, 
I, Welcome. Yeah. And Thank you so much for coming by. Of course. And uh, in the comments, what did we miss? What did we misunderstand? Let us know. That's if there's any questions, I can maybe pass them along and uh, make a better video next time with those questions. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the next one.